Exercise 10-25. We're going to purchase an intangible asset, and because it doesn't last forever, we have to amortize its value over the years so that the value of the asset goes down. So amortization is similar to depreciation, but amortization is for intangible assets, whereas depreciation is for tangible assets. So Melbourne Printers manufactures printers. Assume that MP, that's the name of the company, recently paid $200,000 for a patent on a new laser printer. Although it gives legal protection for 20 years, the patent is expected to provide a competitive advantage for only eight years. Requirement one, assuming the straight line depreciation, excuse me, assuming the straight line method of amortization, make journal entries to record A, the purchase of the patent, and B, amortization for the first full year. So A, we have to purchase it. So our intangible asset account called patent is gonna go up because it has a future value, it's an asset. Copy and paste and cash is going down. And that is to record purchase of a patent. Now it's a year later. Does this patent still have a value of 200,000? No, it's only gonna be used for eight years. So we have to take this $200,000 and slowly lower its value over those eight years. We use the eight years and not the 20 years because the competitive advantage, in other words, the useful life of the asset is only eight years. So we're gonna use straight line depreciation, straight line amortization, sorry, and we're using straight line because it tells us right here. So here's the formula for amortization. You take the cost minus the residual value divided by the useful life. The asset costs $200,000, so that's why the 200,000 is here, minus zero. So most intangible assets have a zero residual value. And then divide it over its useful life as eight years. So that turns out to be $25,000 of amortization every year. Copy and paste that. So we need to increase our expense and expenses increase with a debit. And that expense is called amortization expense. Now the thing that's, one thing that's different about amortization versus depreciation is amortization, we're gonna lower the value of the asset directly. So there is no accumulated amortization. So we're gonna lower the patent account directly. And that is to record amortization on patent. Oops, I chose the wrong one. To record amortization of patent. Now requirement two, after using the patent for four years, MP learns at an industry trade show that another company is designing a more efficient printer. Uh-oh, we've got problems. On the basis of this new information, MP decides, starting with year five, to amortize the remaining cost of the patent over the two remaining years, giving the patent a total useful life of six years. So we thought the thing was gonna last eight years, but it's only gonna last six years. So, Starting with year five, we had to revise our amortization. So right here, we're recording amortization for year five. So we have a revision in estimates. So revised amortization, the formula is, you take the remaining book value, minus revised residual value, which is still zero, minus revised useful life. So let's do book value first. So remember, We've used this item, this patent, for four years. So that means we've amortized it four times 25,000. Okay, so we've done this transaction right here four times. So that's a total amortization of $100,000. So if the item costs us 200,000, and after four years we've amortized it 100,000, how much is it worth? Or I should say, how, what is its book value? Its book value is 100,000. That's why we got 100K here. Minus the residual value, which is still zero, minus revised schedule. So why'd we use two years? Because it says over here, we're going to 
amortize the remaining cost of the patent over two remaining years. So 100,000 divided by two is $50,000 of amortization per year. Copy and paste. So our amortization expense increases and then the patent account decreases in value directly. And this is to record amortization of the patent. And that's it.